What's up mga kache? It's Kuya Dale here. So, oh, kumusta man yung uh, inyong set break? So, did you enjoy it? So, anyways, I'm back with another uh, checkout lesson. So, I hope you enjoyed it. So, right now, we will be talking about density and specific gravity. So, we just share it. So, density and specific gravity. So, here is a um, article that talks about the importance of gravity. So let's just read it. So this is a report in 1970 by P.P.M. Hanker. So um, the bottom outlet nozzle of a pool of oil storage tank kept at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius suddenly sprang a gas leak as the nozzle plunge become loose. So you can imagine 80 degrees Celsius is very hot already from oil. Huh? So, because of the high temperature of the oil, it was impossible for anyone to go near the tank and repair the leak to prevent further loss. So, after a moment of anxiety, we noticed that the engineer in charge rushed to his office to summon fire department personnel and instruct them to run a hose from the nearest fire hydrant to the top of the storage tank. So, within minutes, what gushed out from the leak was hot water instead of valuable oil. Sometime later, as the entering cold water lowered the oil temperature, it was possible to make repairs. Okay, so we will define some terms first. So we use the Greek symbol rho for um, density. So it is the ratio of mass per unit volume, such as kilograms per cubic meter, or pounds per cubic feet. Okay, so mass per volume so it has uh, both a numerical value and units and it, the density for liquids and solids do not change significantly at ordinary conditions with pressure but they can change significantly with temperature for certain compounds if the temperature change is large enough so uh, just if you can focus here in the right uh, side of the screen so as you can see uh, water is not um, uh, affected much by the change in temperature. Okay, so it will begin to uh, significantly change if it is the temperature is high enough. And also for uh, ammonia, it is uh, largely affected by the temperature. So for liquids, it, it will only be affected by um, uh, temperature. Gases can also be affected by um, pressure. So uh, liquids and solids cannot be, uh, so do not significantly change, do not significantly change when subjected to large pressures, but gases do. Okay? So the, it has to do with the compression of the gases. So more gases will be confined at a little space, so giving them more mass at a certain volume. So the gas now will be denser. Okay, so that's that. Uh, another uh, term with the specific volume is just the inverse of the density. It's just reciprocal of the density, such as um, cubic centimeters per gram and then cubic feet per pound. So we use the symbol V bar or V, v, v bird. <laughs> so V, we use this symbol V with this accent here, that specific volume. The volume over mass okay and then the, another term is the specific gravity so it is the ratio of the density of a substance or the density of a reference material so reference material okay in symbols for compound a so you can see here um it, the density of the substance will be divided by the density of the reference substance so uh the also the cubic meter so it comes out as unitless. So cubic meters, uh, kilograms per cubic meters divided by cubic, uh, kilograms per cubic meters. So the final units of the specific gravity will be none. So it will be unitless. And then normally the reference substance for liquids and solids normally is water. So it is. So for gram, uh, for gram per cubic centimeters, it is one. Uh, gram per cubic centimeter and then for um, cubic 
uh, kilograms per cubic meter, it is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So, and for pound per for uh, pound per cubic feet, it is 62.4. Pound per cubic feet. So that's that. In the temperature of water in this uh, densities is four degrees Celsius. Okay, so uh, that's the qualifier here. It's rated at four degrees Celsius. So we now have a sample problem. So sample problem. So um, if penicillin has a specific gravity of 1.41, so what is the density in um, grams per cubic centimeter, and then pound mass or pound per cubic feet, and then like, kilogram per cubic meter. So this is really easy. So if you want to um, solve this like me, it will be really fast. So just remember, if you are required of the grams per cubic centimeter, just take the value as it is, okay? So if you are asked for um, pound per cubic feet, just multiply it by 62.4, and then if you are asked for um, kilograms per cubic meter, just multiply it by 1,000. So it's that easy, okay? So the answers are 1.41 grams per cubic centimeter, letter D, just multiply it by 62.4 and you'll get the answer. Now, um, 88.03 pound mass per cubic feet. And then lastly, just multiply 1.41 by 1,000. We'll get 1,410 cubic meters, uh, kilograms per cubic meters. Okay, it's that easy. And then uh, we have tables. Uh, it can be used in our Paris if ed. So we should become acquainted with the fact that in the petroleum industry, industry, the specific gravity of petroleum products is often reported in terms of a hydrometer scale gold. Um, degrees API or American Petroleum Industry. Uh, the equations that relate the API scale to density and vice versa are found in Table 1-13. And also, if you want to find the density of water, which is really commonly used in many plants, especially in uh, power plants, so Table 2-305, which is our steam table. So I will teach you how to use this same table if we will uh, reach the chemical engineering thermodynamics yeah, lesson, okay? So as a sneak peek, so here it is. So table 1-13 and table 2-305. Your thermodynamic properties of water, aka your steam tables. So there are a lot of, if we see, uh, if we um, produce the table 1-13, you can have uh, uh, many um, versions here, especially your API here. Here is the API. Okay, and then if you want to convert your um, give, if you are given the specific gravity, just use this formula. Okay, and then you can get the degrees API of your substance. Okay, move on. So next problem, so in the production of a drug having a molecular weight of 192, the exit stream of the reactor containing water and the drug flows at a rate of 10.5 liters per minute. The drug concentration is 41.2, so water, and the specific gravity of the solution is 1.024. So calculate the concentration of the drug in kilograms per liter and the exit, in the exit stream and the flow rate of the drug in kilograms, kilogram mole per minute, okay? So we need a larger uh, space okay, for us to solve this, but don't worry, it's, um, it's really simple, okay? So we are given here the drug concentration 41.2. So as I uh, often repeated to you, if we are given um, 
here the we are not um, specified. We are not given the basis for our calculations. They just gave us 41.2 uh, percent, right? So if you are given that and it is not gas, maybe if it is not gas, so if gas the our basis will be in molar basis, right? So if it is not gas and it is in liquid form, so it maybe we are given the mass basis, okay? Mass basis. So, um, that will be now our um, basis for our calculation. So, basis will be 1 kilogram of our uh, solution, okay? 1 kilogram of our solution. So, we will, I, I will introduce you to how um, we solve these kinds of problems. So we have a reactor, right? So in the production, so it is, this is in the exit stream. So that is, the exit stream is now our concern. So we have a flow rate of 10.5 liters per minute. And then we have the SG or the specific gravity. Uh, which is uh, 1.034 and then we have the we have these uh, amounts right so 41.2 um 41.2 percent of the drug so if the drug is 41.2 percent so uh its mass is 41 4.412 kilograms okay and then for our water just uh, take the difference uh, 1 minus 0. 0.412 we are we have 0. 0.588 kilograms okay a kilogram of water so you now have to find the kilograms per liter okay of our the concentration of the drug in kilograms per liter so what we will do now first is to find the um we are given just the mass masses right so we will have to find the density of the solution to transform it to kilograms per liter okay so we are given the specific gravity so that's enough information for us to calculate the concentration of drug in kilograms per liter Okay, so we have the density of the solution. So uh, it is 1.24, that's the specific gravity. So I, uh, for me, so we are given the kilograms per liter, right? We are asked for the kilograms per liter. So what will I multiply 1.024 with to get a kilogram? in the numerator na value, okay? So, as you can remember, diba? Maybe we have grams per cubic centimeter, uh, pound per cubic feet, and then our kilograms per cubic meter. So, I would like to get that kilograms per cubic meter. So, now, I will multiply this by 1,000, okay? So, that I will get 1,024 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, so it will be easy for us to convert it in the later part. So we will get the concentration of the drug. So concentration of the drug. So we have the in our solution we have the 0 0.42, uh, 0 0.412 kilograms of our drug per kilogram of our solution okay so we will multiply that by the uh, our density so that we will get the uh, volume of the solution we will just convert uh, the cubic meters to liter uh, cubic meters to liters okay so is one cubic meter and then 
equivalent to 1000 meters. So cancel, uh, cancel, cancel, cancel. So we'll now be left with um, kilograms per liter. So if you multiply that, we are we will get the value of 0. 0.22 kilograms per liter. Okay. So that yeah, that is the answer to our uh, concentration of the drug. But we are asked also for the flow rate of the drug in kilogram moles per minute. So we are asked for a kg mole per minute. Okay. So I will solve this here. So flow rate. So we are asked for the flow rate. Flow rate. So we have we are given the flow rate. 10.5 liters per minute. And then uh, we have to transform that liters to moles, right? So we, we will multiply that by our density so that we, it will be converted to mass and then it will be transformed to moles. Okay. So uh, multiply it by 42 kilograms per liter our solution and then we will divide that by the molar molecular weight which is 192 okay so 192 kilograms by one kilogram mole final answer will be 0 0.0231 kilogram mole per minute Okay, so it's that easy. Okay, that easy. Now we will move on to our last uh, problems. So for ethanol, the handbook gives specific gravity at 60 degrees Fahrenheit of 0.79389. So what is the density of ethanol in grams per cubic centimeter at 60 degrees Fahrenheit? So assuming that also the water the substance of our reference here in water also has a, a density of one gram per cubic centimeter. So just take this and that's it. that will be your answer. Okay. So you can remember what I said a while ago that if you are asked for um, new grams per cubic centimeter, just copy this and put the terms per cubic centimeter there and that will be your answer. Okay, it's that easy. Then the specific gravity of steel is 7.9. What is the volume in cubic, uh, cubic feet of a steel ingot weighing 4,000 pounds? Okay, so this is really easy. Okay, so you don't even have to think uh, a lot about it. Okay, so specific gravity of steel is 7.9 and we are asked for pounds. So, okay, 7.9. Um, to get it, uh, for us to get the units in pound per cubic feet, we we'll just have to multiply it by 62.4, okay? And then, you will get now your density, which is... 492.96 pounds per cubic feet. Okay, and now we'll just have to get our volume. Okay, so the required is in cubic feet. So we'll have our 4,000 pounds there. Let's multiply that by uh, feet and 492.96. Pounds. Okay, so cancel, cancel. We will have the final answer as 8.11 cubic feet. Okay, so that's the final answer. So, okay, so I think we now get the uh, gist of what I'm saying in, uh, in about densities. So, I will give you more practice problems, just uh, three of them. So, they're really sim simple, and I hope you can uh, uh, you can answer this. 
in the comments below. So if you want, if you really want to know the answers, if you can contact me uh, in my Facebook. Okay. So that ends our lesson. Uh, thank you for watching this lesson. And the same book is also the same book is by Hino Blau and Riggs. Okay. So don't forget to like and subscribe, share uh, these videos to uh, the your friends if you, if you want them to learn also the basics of the calculations and chemical engineering. So that's it. Bye-bye. Thank you.